Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you are doing extremely well. So today we are going to solve this amazing and an interesting problem that is delete a given node when a node is given to you from the SD sheet. Now the problem states that you will have to write a function to delete a node in a singly linked list. You will not be given the access to the head of the linked list. Usually you are given the head of the linked list. Instead, you will be only given the node which has to be deleted. Like if you have to delete this fifth node, they will give you the node 5, basically the reference. And also they have clearly mentioned that the node to be deleted will never be a tail node. So for an example, just imagine they say you that you have to delete this node and they have given a reference to this node. So you don't have anything. You have to delete this. Now generally to delete this, what you need is you have to cut this link and you have to take this. That was the general approach. But you are not given the head. You are only given this node. And with this node, what you can access is the right word of the linked list, not the left word. So how can you cut this link? That is the question. Now the question uh, might look interesting, but trust me, it has a dumb solution. Now the solution is very simple. What you do is, you simply copy this three over here. Correct. And after this, you cut this pointer and point it to the next of next of three. So that's going to point to null. So you did not delete the node, but what you did was you actually deleted the value. Since you are storing integers or double or something, you were able to restore your value. That is one, four, three, null is your new linked list. So indirectly you deleted the node, but you did not delete its address. That's not possible if you're given the reference of the node. For that you need the head. If you want to delete the entire node properly in this way you can do it so if i write the code for it it's going to be very easy what you do is you take the nodes val assign it to nodes next val now why does a nodes next val work because they have clearly told you that node will never be the tail node that is the last node that is why node next is for sure a node and you can simply take the val so what i do is i assign this three to this two and after this, what I do is I can say notes next, correct? Notes next is going to be pointing to notes next next. So in this way, I copy the value and I have new links. So these two lines will actually delete a node. Looks a dumb solution, but I cannot help. So these kind of question will not come in direct interviews. If you're left off with five or 10 minutes of an interview, the interviewer might throw up such questions. Also, if also if it was said that node can be the tail node. So in that case, you can have a if else check. You basically check if this is the last node, right? If this is the last node, what you do is you simply assign node to be null because if you are deleting the last node, what will happen is you want to delete the last node and that was pointing to null. You simply assigned it to null. So what will happen is this now points to null. So you deleted that node. So even if it's given that you want to delete the last node, you can still do it. The time complexity is big of one that is constant in nature. Space complexity is one, obviously. 